know what to say about all this. I'm staggered by your blindness. You must be infatuated and upset with him to overlook what happened here today. Seems believing with all due respect. I know how indulgent you are towards my son, and that you're afraid to contradict him when he tried playing that trick on the poor boy. You were too calm to be believable. You would look a good deal more upset. <laughs> Need we react quite so ferociously when someone just declares his love for us? Our glazing eyes and spitting out insults the only possible response to it? My way is to laugh at these approaches. I get no pleasure out of melodrama. I think it should be common sense. <laughs> I have no time for this rampaging prudes whose breaches red into the glove who scratch your eyes out at the first excuse. Heaven preserve us from such stateliness. <coughs> I'm for integrity without foolishness. <coughs> I think a chilly and desperate refusal is as effective a rebuff as any. I know my mind and I'm not changing it. Again, I'm staggered by this curious greatness. <sighs> but how would it affect your unbelief if I could show you that we were telling the truth? Show me? Yes. Rubbish. Oh, suppose I find a way to prove it beyond any doubt. Absurd. Ugh. What a man. <laughs> Won't you answer me at least? I'm not asking you to take our word for it. Suppose I found a place somewhere around here where you could see and hear quite clearly. Then what would you have to say about this good man? Well, in that case, I I'd say, no, I'd say nothing, because oh. that couldn't happen. Well, this delusion had lasted for far too long, and I am tired of being a piece of life. It's high time I gave myself the satisfaction of proving to you that everything we said is true. All right. I'll take you at your word. Let's see you keep your promise.
not as exquisitely pleasurable, madame. But forgive me for taking the liberty and casting some small doubt on my good fortune. What you say might be a straightforward trick to make me break off this impending marriage. And I shan't trust these delicious suggestions you have made until I get a taste of what I crave to reassure me that there's been no mistake. And in silly me, lasting confidence in just how generous you mean to be. <laughs> Surely we don't have to move quite so fast and exhaust all the possibilities in one go. To make such an intimate confession to you practically killed me. And now I find it's not enough for you. You mean you won't be satisfied until this thing goes as far as it can go? You see, I don't think I deserve your kindness. I can't accept my boldness has paid off. I won't believe it. Not until you find some realistic method to convince me. Oh my god. Now you're behaving like a tyrant and plunging me into a strange confusion. Is it right to make such a mercilessly rigorous demand of this weakness you know I have for you? But why? If you approve of my advances, refuse me the definitive credential. Oh, but how would I agree to what you want without, as you would say, offending God? Oh. If God is all you're worrying about, let me do that problem. You must not hold you back at all. Well, we're always told we must bear heaven's judgment. I can dispel these ludicrous alarms. I know that art is for free and ambition. It's true. That certain pleasures are forbidden by God, but there are ways of getting around it. I'll explain this mystery some other time. All you need is for now is exactly what I tell you. Don't be afraid to fulfill my desires. I'll be responsible for everything. And take a sin upon myself. That's a bad cop. Oh, yes, it's a mystery. Perhaps it would help to suck on a piece of licorice. This cop has clung on. I don't think it'll help to suck.
slightest good to rub up these cheap excuses to try and throw me out. Attacking me is more dangerous than you think. I have a way of punishing imposters, avenging this insult to God, and making those who try to throw me out repent. Upstairs. 